Robbie Davidson is founder of the Flat Earth International Conference and told Daily Star. Online he wants his film's scientism exposed to to make people question everything. He also explained why he thinks one piece of evidence will blow apart the globe theory. Robbie is a Christian who has made 10 documentaries about theories such as the Earth being flat. Getty breathtaking the Earth photographed from the moon. Betted technology is proving that the Earth is flat. Robbie Davidson he made the extraordinary claim that no human could ever get to the edge of the planet to find out what's there. Flat earthers don't all agree on what's at the edge of the Earth, he said. But Earth has a flat edge. The Antarctic is most likely at the edge and the Arctic is in the middle. Humans can't reach the edge of the planet because it would be too cold for our technology to work. Robbie explained that flat earth unbelievers should ask themselves these key questions before watching his film Conspiracy. Theorists have poured over these pictures from the moon landings and concocted all kinds of theories. Boffins have rebuffed these claims. Getty images the deployment of scientific experiments by astronaut Edwin Aldrin Jr. is photographed by astronaut Neil Armstrong. Why is Antarctica still unexplored? Antarctica is the last unexplored continent on Earth. In the Antarctic Treaty of 1959 all countries backed out of exploring it, except scientists. Robbie argues that this is because Antarctica marks the edge of planet Earth. Getty Spectacular The Earth as photographed from space Did the moon landings happen? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. But the furthest that humans have gone from Earth in a spacewalk is just 400 miles. Robbie says that the moon landings were faked so that scientists could get a picture of the round Earth from space. Getty Conspiracy Robbie Davidson argues that the Earth is Flat the ships really go over the horizon. One of the earliest pieces of evidence for the Earth being round was when people noticed ships disappear as they went over the horizon. But Robbie says that this was just an illusion. If we use better technology such as zoomed lenses, he said, we can see that the ship doesn't disappear, it just gets smaller. It's just a matter of perspective. Better technology is proving that the Earth is flat. Manchester-based company Starchesa has successfully launched a research rocket and now aims to rocket tourists into space by 2022. See all the pictures here. Starchesa the horizon is always at eye level when you're on a beach, Robbie says, the horizon is at eye level. When you're on a mountain, it's still at eye level. Even when you're in a plane, the horizon is still at eye level. Robbie argues that there have been no conclusive experiments by scientists to prove the curvature of the Earth. Yet he's skeptic many flat earthers don't believe that humans have ever been to space. The Chicago skyline photo recently a photo went viral after it seemed to go against everything we thought we knew about the curve of the Earth. The photo was taken of the Chicago skyline from 52 miles away on the shores of Lake Michigan. Robbie said every mile traveled should equal 8 inches of curvature. But in the photo, we can still see the bottom of the buildings on the seafront of Chicago from across the lake. This is impossible. Although physicists have been quick to point out that this photo was just a mirage effect, Robbie maintains that scientists are the ones who are closer-minded. Getty Conspiracy Flat Earthers believe that NASA and other agencies are in on the trick. Robbie argues that for him, being a flat earther is mostly about asking questions. If you believe that the government could lie to you about something like the JFK assassination, he said, what else could they lie about? Robbie spoke at the Flat Earth International Conference last month in North Carolina. His film Scientism Exposed 2 is available on his website, Celebrate Truth. Related articles.